Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to drag and drop buttons. So like this. So and if I release, it goes away. So the idea is I want to be able to select items from my inventory and drag and drop them into my pot for cooking. So the first step of that is how to make this button draggable so yeah that's what we are going to figure out today so this is as you know this is on my cooking project but if you just want to learn how to do dragging and dropping inventory uh, ui elements this will be still helpful even if you haven't followed previous episodes of this tutorial series so yeah let's see how to do this today and before we get started here is the full playlist of this series i leave the link in description and also from my patreon page you will be able to access the project files full project files of this project uh, and not just this once you become a member uh, you will be able to access uh, project files of all the thousands of the different projects that I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 2000 videos for each video. Project files are available here. So, right. Now, let's get into today's episode. Okay, so this is what I have. Right now, I can press this button and here I have this inventory items. I can filter through them. And what I want to do is click on this button and drag and drop it here so when i do that i need to spawn potatoes in the bowl so but first thing is how do i implement this dragging and dropping part this is a button and how do i drag and drop a button so that's the first thing we need to figure out okay so here is the inventory widget that i have created and the buttons are created dynamically uh, and added to this ver uh, vertical box so buttons are of this type vb inventory item uh, sorry wbp inventory item this is the type of buttons this is just a button a custom button that i have created so all right now to show the dragging and dropping part I'm gonna add a new button, a new widget from this WBP inventory item type into this widget, this inventory widget. Uh, inventory item. I'll just drag and drop it here. And so what I want to do is when I do the dragging and dropping, I'm gonna initialize this button with the selected button and with the details of the selected button so this will show as that button that i have selected and this button should follow my mouse so let's first implement the following part so for that i'll get the event tick and this is called inventory item i'll call this follow follow button and here get uh, slot as canvas slot because we have added this to a canvas slot set position and we can get mouse position on viewport and use this position to set the lock set the position of the button follow button now here see it's already following the mouse so maybe we should set the button uh, the mouse should be in the center of this button so if you want to do that you might need to set the alignment to 0.5 by 0.5 now yeah see now the item is here okay so we should not have it have this at the beginning we should only get this after clicking on 
the items in the inventory so let's do that so here let's add a branch Promote this to a variable. Let's call it dragon. Maybe let's let's be more descri descriptive. Dragon item. By default, this should be false. And also by default, this follow button should also be. So now, see, I don't have that. So only after I click and drag, try to drag from this button, I should get it. Okay, so how to do that? So here in the inventory item, we have this BTN vegetables. Actually, we should call it BTN item vegetables so if i go here to the event graph i have this on click event and on pressed event so on pressed event will be called as soon as i click on the button and on click event will be called once i let go of the mouse so that's the difference between these two press and click so if you want to test that, clicked and uh, pressed. Let's add two prints. Pressed. Okay, let's test it. See, now I'm still uh, my mouse is pressed once I release you get click pressed clicked pressed clicked okay what happens if I press and move away and release I don't get the clicked um, okay that's fine let's um take this to released print string released okay drag I'm still pressing released okay this is what I need so press uh event and then here release event so when i release the button if the dragged button is over here i can consider as i am trying to drop something into the pot so that is not something i the dropping part is not something i want to do right now i just want to uh, determine which events that i need to do that i need to implement dragging and dropping okay so so I don't need no maybe we still need this okay so I'll add the event dispatcher here on rest dispatch so here as the input I'll give a reference to this button, which is inventory item. Press button. And I'll call it here. Uh, maybe I should have some delay here. Now let's do that later. So I'll just call rest call 
pressed dispatch and the press button is cell okay now we have this uh, dispatch we can bind an event from here into this so for that let's go to the place where we add inventory buttons item buttons we add, i think we should be adding them here yeah this is where we create it initialize item add child to okay item button here i'll add find event to rest dispatch okay here let's create an event we call it let's create a machine function and i'll call it on item rest now here i'll set i'll set dragon item to true and dragon button follow button maybe i should call this drag button instead of follow button because i'm using the dragon in the name everywhere so drag button set visibility to maybe this non hit testable visible the reason that i set it to non hit testable is because this is also a button but i don't want any i don't want it to block any events uh that should go through the button onto the other buttons in the inventory so right let's see if this works yeah see i can drag now if i let go nothing happens so that is something we need to address so the let it go part here i'll add another dispatch can I duplicate this? No. Uh, yeah. Released dispatch. This also needs a parameter. Same thing. A button. In item okay so call it released button and i'll call it here call released dispatch parameter is cell okay now here Where do I up here? So I'll bind another event to on released. Bind event to released dispatch. So same as before, let's create an event and let me align this properly vertically create a magic function let's say on item released right so here just like here what i want to do is the same thing not the same thing but i would need the same stuff that i have here so i'll set dragon item to false and drag button to kill uh, 
right now let's see for data drag release have a drag release drag release okay and now the next thing is uh dragging and dropping is working next thing is when i drag a button i should get the same button instead of just this item name so for that in here i have this initialize item which is done through this past item data so maybe we should keep this item data structure as a variable within this button so we can use that to initialize the drag button so yeah let's call it item data without the space and then we already have a reference to this pressed button and we can initialize initialize item and we can find the item data from here like this okay now we should get the correct one information see now it's potato release apple release now we have a problem what if i click and release ah it's not a problem it's already working and we get this snapping thing maybe we should avoid that we should give it a second before we create in this other button maybe but we don't really need, have any other reason to click if we are not planning to drag them maybe so anyway if you want to avoid that so that's what i was thinking about here maybe we should add some small delay so let's add a retrievable delay here be like 0.5 seconds and call this if the button is still uh in the first state uh, here let's have a branch and btn item is pressed yeah. this should work let's see yeah see we don't get the uh, drag button spawned yet but if i give it a second see now wait that yes okay great so yeah this is exactly what i need but in the next time let's look into how to actually uh, spawn potato and put it in the pot maybe we should consider reducing this like 0.3 seconds because if I do this, see, if there was a 0.5 seconds, this might appear when my mouse is already here. So already seen is better. Okay, so yeah, that is all I wanted to do for today. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And do let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.